the shellac has dried overnight so now I'm going to give it a sanding with some 320 and then begin my touch up side. Okay, now I'm looking at the, the side of the cabinet here, which I haven't touched, and uh, I want to make the, the, the checkerboard inlay and the uh, veneer below it on the legs and the apron uh, darker. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, dye stain, some Van Dyke Brown dye stain, and see if I can pad some on to help darken it. Now I'm going to wait for this uh, stain to dry, and then I'm going to put another coat of shellac on. Now in the meantime, I'm going to go uh, darken up some of my patches uh, on this banding. I also need to darken the new uh, the new barber pole. Here you can see some of the old barber pole inlay, and my new stuff's a little too too white. I've got to yellow that and brown it up a little bit. Okay, that's. That's all the staining I'm going to do now. I'm going to let the stain dry, uh, brush another coat of shellac on here, and then and then evaluate my touch-ups again and do see what else I need to do. Okay, now I'm going to sand the second coat of shellac with some 500 paper. Then I want to go back and improve my uh, touch-ups on the inlay. Right, now I'm going to brush on uh, the third coat of shellac. Okay, so now I've put, I think, four coats of shellac on the front of this bottom part of the clock uh, to facilitate all my touch-ups and toning all my wood in and my patches and stuff, and uh, now I think it looks great. Uh, the case of the clock itself is a little on the dull side, even though I will wax it with uh, beeswax polish. The front where I've shellacked is too shiny, so I'm going to see if I can cut down on that gloss. I'm going to use some uh, 4F pumice and a uh, white 3M pad. I'm going over this by hand instead of a block because uh, because the surface isn't perfectly flat. I want my hand to follow the slight contours and uh, anywhere there's any little uh, open grain or or slight very very slight indentations where it's shiny I can use a brush to get the pumice down in there I think this looks uh, pretty good. I won't know for sure until I uh, uh, wax up the entire case with the beeswax polish, which I will do soon. Now I'm going to uh, go over the whole case with some uh, 4 aught steel wool and some oil and beeswax polish. So, I've made the new scroll work for the top, glued it and installed it, re-glued that pillar. Uh, my ceiling's too low to put that finial on, but that'll go there. On the base, I took up all this loose veneer, re-glued it, re took up all this veneer, realigned it. Uh, we found a lot of patches of mahogany veneer in this banding, we replaced it with rosewood. Uh, repaired, reglued, and patched in this inlay on the bottom. Uh, put a lot of new stringing along this corner and uh, restored the finish. And there it goes.
So 